On this part, you learn how to set up the development environment so you can build Angular applications. For that, you are going to install three different tools. You'll first install Node.js, which is an open source and cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. Then next, you are going to install the Angular CLI, which is a command line interface really useful to build Angular applications. And the third one is an optional tool. It is the Visual Studio Code because it is just a code editor and you can use any code editor that you prefer. I do recommend that you use Visual Studio Code, so I'm just going to show you where you can get Visual Studio Code. So let us start with Node.js. For that, I'll just go to Google and in here I'll just type Node.js and then you have the first option here and then download the long-term support one. So and here you have two options, the latest version of Node.js and the long-term support version of Node.js, so the latest one. I'll just click this button. The Node installer is going to be downloaded and then I'll just click in here. So I'm basically just going to install the Node.js and then click run. Then I'm just going to click next in here. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and then click next then next, next one more time, next and then install. So we can see in here that the Node.js was installed successfully. Now let us click finish. And if you want to verify the installation, you can just open the CMD. And then in here you can type node-v, which stands for version. And you can see that the version 16.16.0 .16 was installed, which is this version. Now next, let us install the Angular CLI. So for that, I'll just type in here Angular CLI and then just come to this link in case you do not remember the command and that is the npm then install the flag g that you see in here it means that it's going to install the angular cli globally because you can either install it globally or just for a single project we're going to install it globally and that's all now the npm in here is really useful because it will use the node package manager. So to be able to install the Angular CLI, it means that you need to have installed node. So you have access to the node package manager. So for that, I'll just go back to the CMD. And then here I'm going to type npm install dash g and then at angular dash CLI and press enter. So we can see that the app was installed successfully. Actually, it was just updated in my case because I had already installed the version 8.11. I just installed the latest one, so it was updated from 11 to 8.15. The third tool is Visual Studio Code. So same way, Visual Studio Code. And then the first link. I have already installed this tool, but if you have not, you can just come in here and click download for Windows, or if you are using a MacBook, you can just download it for Mac OS. Now, since you have installed the Node.js and you have also installed the Angular CLI, let us go and create an empty project. If you want, you can always come back to the Angular CLI page and in here you can refer to the documentation, or you can check out my blog post, which I have created for the Angular CLI. So if you go to .NET how .NET, you are going to see in here the Angular CLI commands post. So I'll just open this one. And then in here you're going to have a history or a description about the Angular CLI, how you can install it, how you can check the version. And then down here, you also have some useful commands on how you can create a project, how you can create a component, a module, and much more.
Now throughout this course, we're going to use a lot of these commands, but in case you want to come back and refer to any of these commands, you can always come to .NET how.NET, then Angular CLI commands. So let us go to Visual Studio Code, and we are going to use the first command that you see here on the list, so ng new, and then workspace name, to create our first default Angular project. For that, I'll just start Visual Studio Code, and then in here I'm going to click open folder. If you do not see this option, you can just go to file and then open folder. I'll create a project on documents and then go to Angular app. I have already created this folder and click select folder. But you can create any folder that you want. You can name it anything you want. It's not really important, but I've just decided to use this folder for my case. So now that I am inside the Angular app folder, I'm going to use the Angular CLI command to create the default Angular project. For that, I'll just type in here ng and then new. And then you need to provide the workspace name, which is going to be like the project name. I'm going to name my project the movies and then app and press enter. So this is going to ask if we would like to add Angular routing. I'm going to select no because in the upcoming parts, you're going to learn how to add routing to Angular applications. So I'll just press enter in here. Then it's going to ask which style sheet format we would like to use. And the options are CSS, SCSS, and the other two options. I'm going to go with the first option, the CSS. So I'll just press enter in here. And now you can see that the command created some default files and now it's installing all the npm packages. Now that the npm packages were installed successfully, let us go to the movies app folder. So for that, I'll just change directory. So cd and then movies dash app and then press enter. And now in here, I'm going to open a new instance of Visual Studio Code. And for that, I'll just type code and then dot and press enter. You can see that the instance was started and now the root folder is the movies app. So we can close the other one. I'll just close this one. Make this full screen. And now you can see in here that we have the node module. So all the NPM packages go inside this folder, but we're going to talk about that on the next part. In here, you can see that Visual Studio Code is automatically suggesting that we install an extension. It's called Angular Language Service. So let us actually install this extension. It's not a requirement. It will just be more helpful for us to have this installed. So click install. You can see in here from the demo, it gives you suggestions related to Angular. So the extension was installed. I'm just going to close this window and then go here to files, then right click, open in integrated terminal, and then type in here another Angular CLI command, which is ng serve, and it is used to start the app. And then after the app is started, it's going to listen for changes. So Let's say you start the app, then you change some code in one of the components. The app is going to auto refresh so you can see the latest version. So I'll just type in here ng serve and then press enter just so we can see like the default Angular application. So we can see that the app was served successfully. And in here we have this message, which says that Angular Live Development Server is listening on localhost 4200. So let us just go to this link. I'm going to hold the control key and then click. So this is the default app that you get, but we're not going to use any of this code because we want to build everything from scratch. And here, for example, you have some commands. So for example, if you want to create a component, by using the Angular CLI, you have the ng generate, or you can just use ng g, then c for component, and then the component name. If you want to add Angular material, if you want to add PWA, if you want to add a dependency, if you want to run and watch tests, or if you want to just build for production, you can use 
this command. You also have other resources, but we're going to build everything from scratch, so you do not really need to worry about what you currently see in here.